Good evening. I want to welcome everybody to the October 1st, 2018 special meeting of the Jersey Village City Council. Madam Secretary, a quorum is present. Yes. Very good. Uh, no, item B, our special se session this evening, we'll move into item one, conduct a separate vote to ratify the property in tax increase of 1.41% as reflected in the 2018-2019 budget adopted on September 18th, excuse me, September 17th, 2018, and place the adoption of this tax rate increase on the October 15th 2018 meeting agenda as an action item. Isabel Cato, Director of Finance. Isabel? I don't have anything to add if you have any questions. Okay, any questions for Isabel? Isabel, I'm reading the background information on this. It's saying that we, we adopted a budget that will raise more, uh, more total property taxes than last year's budget by 111000 $488, a 1.41% increase from last year's budget, and of that amount, 131709 is tax revenue to be raised from new property. 131000 is more than 111000 so I'm not sure what these numbers represent. Okay, the, the total increase would be 111000 but that means that some of the properties that were in the tax roll uh, where the value they the value went down, so that's why the addition is the 131,000 is for new property added to the tax roll. So we are, we are getting more revenues increase, but it's mainly because of the new uh, property added to the tax roll. So the 131,000 is just the portion of the total tax revenue. The 131,000 is the portion of the new properties added to the tax roll. I understand it's it's revenue raised from new property yes. that's added to the tax rolls. That's correct. That's why when you compare, when you see the effective tax rate, the effective tax rate is higher than the proposed tax rate because uh, we're comparing uh, those tax rate compared the value of the property that were in the tax roll last year and this year. That's the reason why the difference is the, that's why that if we want to raise the same amount of, prop, of, pro, of revenues with the, val, with the uh, same numbers of properties in the tax roll, then we will have to increase our property tax rate to the effective tax rate that is higher. Is nobody else reading this the same way I am? Well, the way I understand, we added 134,000, which netted 111 because of other increases and decreases in other accounts. So the net is 111, but new property is 134. But there were other properties that it, that accounted for that 111, that adjustment. Yes, that's correct. All right. They're kind of two unrelated numbers. Any other questions for Isabel? Okay, looking for a motion. <clears throat> I'll make a motion to ratify the property property tax increase of 1.41% reflected in the municipal budget for the fiscal year 2018-2019 adopted on September 17, 2018, and that a proposal to adopt its, this tax rate increase be placed on the October 15, 2018 meeting agenda as an action item. Second. There's been a motion second. Is there any additional discussion? Seeing none, I will now call upon each council member by name to take a record vote. Once your name is called, answer aye to signify your approval of the motion or nay to signify your disapproval. Council member Mitchell, state your vote. Aye. Council member Holden, state your vote. Aye. Council member Warren, state your vote. Council member Singleton, state your vote. Aye. Council member Wubenhorst, state your vote. Aye. Let it be on the, let it let the record reflect that council member Warren is absent and did not vote this evening. Motion's carried. We'll move on to item B2 this evening, conduct the first public hearing, giving all persons interested the right to appear and to be heard on the proposal to increase total tax revenues from properties on the tax roll in the preceding year by 1.41%, percentage by which proposed tax rate exceeds the lower of the rollback rate or effective rate calculated under Chapter 26 tax code. <clears throat> I'll now call to order the first public hearing of the Jersey Village's proposal to increase uh, total tax revenues from properties on the tax roll in the preceding tax year by 1.41%. 
Everyone desiring to speak at this hearing should complete a public hearing comment card and present the card to the city secretary. The purpose of today's hearing is to give all interested parties the right to appear and be heard. The city's proposal to increase total tax revenues from properties on the tax roll in the preceding year, preceding tax year by 1.41%. I would now like to request City Finance Director Isabel Cato to summarize the subject of this public he hearing. Isabel? Uh, the first uh, the first presentation is the different values since uh, 2012. As you can see, there is a slight increase between 2017 and 18, and like I explained before, that had mainly had to do with the new property added to the tax roll. The big changes in the different categories were real vacant that went down by 23%, the real vacant commercial went down by 48%, tangible industrial, industrial went up by 35%, and tangible commercial went down by 24%. These are the historical assets valuations since 2012, and as you can see, the difference between 2017 and 18 is a slight increase. These are the difference tax rate. Um, our current tax rate is 0.7425. Our proposed tax, tax rate will be the same. We're not increasing the tax rate. The effective tax rate, as I explained before, is a slight higher, higher than the, the proposed tax rate and the current tax rate. And the rollback tax rate is lower than the proposed tax rate and the effective tax rate that was due uh, because of the uh, payoff of the debt for the 290 expansion. So the effective tax rate generates the same amount of revenue in the new fiscal year on taxable properties that were in the tax roll the previous year. This is like a benchmark because it's comparing uh, value, uh, the we're comparing the same values and the, of the same properties that were in the last year tax roll versus this year tax roll. The rollback tax rate is the sum of the rollback maintenance and operation, adding with addition the addition, and we have to add the debt service rate. Uh, this is the, uh, the new allocation for 2018-19 um, debt service and operations and maintenance rates. Um, since 2017-18, our debt service rate was higher because we had one debt in, the, in, the, in, uh, in, in our books, but we paid it off uh, in August 31st. So that's why it went down by 0.85824. So we allocated the difference to the operation and maintenance rate. And those are the difference in, in dollars, and the increase is by approximately $140,000 between 2017-18 to 2018-19. Those are the definitions of operations and maintenance rate. Um, with the operations and maintenance rate, we pay our day-to-day -day operations. With the debt service rate, we pay the interest and principles on bonds that are secured by property tax. And those are the tax rates, and we haven't changed the tax rate since 2007, so our tax rate has been staying at 0.7425 since 2007. Those are the two uh, debts that we have in our books, uh, general ob ob obligation refunding 2012, and the general ob obligation refunding 2016. 
and those are the payments that we have to make in, in the year. And then the total obli obligations that we have in the, in the debt service, which add up to 30 million a If anybody has a question. All right, any questions for Isabel? All right, since there's no questions for Isabel, I'll go ahead and open up to public hearing comments. The one card I have this evening is Mr. Bruce Bowden. Bruce? Are there any other uh, comment cards this evening? Carlos Rodriguez.
Okay, very good. Thank you, Carl. So if you, and if you've got some questions about the the budget and the tax rates and the expenditures, I, I'd, I'll make myself available after the meeting. We can kind of talk a little bit about that. Any other comment cards this evening? So the City Council will also meet on Monday, October 15th, 2018 at uh, 7 p.m. at the Civic Center, 16327 Lakeview Drive, Jersey Village, Texas, for the purpose of voting on the proposed tax rate. There being no one else desiring to speak, I will now close this first public hearing on the City's proposal to increase tax revenues from properties on the tax roll in proceeding year of 1.41%. Item three, consider resolution number 2018-63, authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement with Brooks and Sparks Incorporated for the engineered design of the new public works facility located at 12527 Taylor Road. Kevin Hagerich. Yes, on July the 9th, 2016, the city of Georgia's village purchased a shell structure located at 12527 Taylor Road to serve as the new public works facility. As discussed in the June 18, 2018 City Council session upon purchase of the property, the building would require a build out. That required this request is to authorize the city manager to enter into a contract with Brooks and Sparks for the engineering design of the new public works facility located at 12527 Taylor Road. Staff recommends uh, that this action be approved. Are there any questions for Kevin? This is just the approval of the design contract. Everything that um, is designed will come back to council for approval on um, on build out, correct? Yeah, we'll bring the contract back to council for Just the design process. phase right this now. This is just yep. the design phase, correct. Okay, any other questions? Looking for a motion on the resolution. I move that we approve resolution 2018-63. I'll second. There's been a motion and seconds. Is there any additional discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, opposed, any abstentions, motion carries. We have on our item this evening to recess the special session and convene an ex executive session. My understanding is that uh, this council, let me get a, an idea from council, do we actually need to convene an executive session this evening? Seeing none, we'll actually not convene an executive session and go directly into Item F1, which is resolution number 2018-64, authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement with Argus USA LLC relating to the provision of development services within the city. City Manager Austin Blease. Mayor and Councilors, this is the uh, <clears throat> Chapter 3 at agreement with Argus uh, USA LLC uh, relating to the provision of the development services within the city. For, uh, the recommendation is to approve the resolution authorizing me to sign the uh, agreement with them. All right, any questions for Austin? See none, looking for a motion on the resolution. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion, second. Is there any additional discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, opposed, any abstentions, motion carries. I'll actually adjourn this uh, evening's proceedings. Good night, and thank you very much for your attendance this evening.